Bob Bursell asked us, is it okay to wear normal length shoelaces with Highland Brogues? Normal length shoelaces with Highland Brogues. With Highland Brogues. Would I, or would you, ever wear normal length shoe la shoelaces with Highland Brogues? No, at that point I would wear wingtips. I would get those, um, you know, those, those elasticized kids things that they go into the curly cues at the end, so you just like pull them out, they go, bruh, bruh, you know, and they're, they're like rainbow and sparkly and stuff, I would do that. Now I just want to see like Velcro Gilly Brogues. <laughs> Where yeah! And then that's even, uh, you just slide into your Gilly Brogues, man, there's no tongue uh, to get in the way, so why not? You just like, whoop, slide right in. Yeah, but does the Velcro go up the leg? <laughs> like twist around <laughs> up the leg and then Velcro closed? The laces are actually just Velcro, yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's no, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the whole thing where like where the socks just have the laces painted onto them. Yes, right, exactly. Right, like Adam uh, did that one time uh, where he paint, he painted the the painted the, the flashes uh, onto his socks. Yes. Oh man. Um. No, seriously, it's. Do you want to do this or should I do this? Okay. I I gave my answer. Gilly brogues are what's called a survival. Um, they are basically an honorific piece of clothing. They're designed to harken back to a time when the Highlanders. We're wearing shoes like um, the traditional ghillies or bog shoes, whatever you want to call them, or Highland moccasins, which were basically um, rough shoes, and they had laces that went up your ankle or up onto the muscle so that if you got the shoe stuck in mud, you could pull your foot out of the mud and not lose your shoe. So the idea that somebody came up with at some point was, oh, yes, we should honor our ancient ancestors by wearing these, these modern <coughs> shoes that have laces that go up the ankle. It's supposed to be, it's injecting symbolism into a modern invention, which you didn't have to do. They're kind of cool looking, and they do kind of add a little point of interest. And it's kind of like, you know, you got the kilt and the sporn, and you got the hose, and you got the Gilly Brogues with the laces. It just kind of completes the, the package in a way. It looks kind of cool, but it's not necessary. And they are not something that people have had to wear, or, you know, they're, they're not older than like 120 years, really. Which is why I wouldn't wear regular laces with it. Yeah, so, no. so you're kind of missing the point there's no point in doing that. And at that point, people are not going to tell it to Gilly Brogue anyway, because unless you're wearing like really bright neon orange kilt hose, so you can see the space between where the tongue isn't. Right, max all down for that. Um, that's why Gilly Brogues don't have a tongue. Is yeah. the other thing. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, if that's your, if 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 there's, I don't know why you're asking. If there's a reason why you're concerned about doing that, like if you find that the laces fall down. I mean, some people complain about the laces falling down. Surprise, surprise, you're wearing something on inverted cone. You think the odds are that think that the laces could fall down? Yeah. So You're being mean to this person. I'm, I, I got my blood up. I don't I don't care for Gilly Brogues. I think How I think, dare you ask such an asinine question, sir? Uh, yeah. Good day. Good day, sir. I said good day. Um They're they're cool, they're just not my jam, and I would just wear regular nice wingtips. No, I so correct. The an, the the right answer is the short answer is just wear wingtips. Don't the, worry about there's, it. There's like we discussed earlier, there's you know, Highland wear evolves in the same way fashion evolves, but it evolves at a right. snail's pace over a longer period of time. So at some point, Gilly Brogues were brand new. At some point, the Prince Charlie was brand new. At some point, the Regimental Doublet was new. So it's it kind of evolves slowly over time. So the things that you see current day that, hey, this is part of tradition. At some point, it was a new thing. At some point, Black Watch was made up as a tartan. Mm -hmm. So it all evolves from somewhere. Now, Gilly Brogues are here to stay. Like them or not, pretty much they're here to stay. They have been accepted as a part of Highland dress. Therefore, you know, period, they're here. So I would say either wear them with longer laces, or if you don't like them, just wear a pair of regular, you know, brogues or you know, wingtips right. with you know shorter laces, and just be done with it, and don't worry about the laces. Pretty much. Indeed. Although I'm really intrigued about the springy laces idea now. Yeah. <sighs> no. <laughs> Please no. I love don't, the fact that Mac and I are both on the same wavelength. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. So we are such goofballs. Or the Yo. things that you, when you were first learning to tie shoes, they were like a little animal that clamped over. Yeah. Those were like... Right, in, right. right in you can have Highland Koo. Yeah, see, have there Pilos, we go. Or you can have Loch Ness monsters or unicorns. <laughs> Love it, you people. And that way, it's kind of like it's almost like a buckle brogue that way. 
So, get out. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, here's the thing. Don't try to make one thing a thing it's not. If you want to wear ghillie brogues, wear ghillie brogues. If you want to wear wingtips, wear wingtips. Just for the love of God, do not wear buckle brogues. <laughs> Thanks, guys.